Well, now the internet makes it easier as hell to start a business ever. You know, I mean, it's just phenomenal to me. You know, <laughs> and this next interview, this guy's even doing it, making it twice as easy as easy on the internet, <laughs> particularly in a t-shirt business. Like now he has a system. Well, actually, what he does, he has a like a crowdfunding t-shirt site, you know, and he's been at a long time. In other words, what they did before, if you have an idea for a t-shirt, what you could do on his site, put a picture on his site, and then they get traffic. And if enough people like it, they'll make the t-shirt for you, sell it, and you get a percentage. I mean, like seven bucks a shirt, that's a lot. I mean, if you wrote a book and sent it to people in New York City, the publishers, man, you get 5%, you know, and he's giving you like 20, 30%. Or you can have your own shop. He's setting up a new uh, venture where you get your own website and he does all the work. This is like a website where you have an idea for a t-shirt. Maybe you just say, like Donald Trump sucks or something and you want to start a business on t-shirts. Well, you send them a picture of those words. <laughs> they make the shirts, put in the shop, design the shop for you, everything, market the shop. Anybody buys it, you get like almost 40% of everything. Man, 40%, all you did is send a photograph. <laughs> I mean, that's amazing to me. It's become so easy now to test ideas if they work. And actually, see, to me, another way to use something like this is for extra. You have a, a, a business, say you have a, a bread shop or something like that. And maybe, oh, why don't I do, um, you know, maybe sell extra t-shirts of different kind of breads. <laughs> so you have Jewish rye bread. You know, you have a big picture of the t-shirt, Jewish rye bread, big picture of Jewish rye bread or something like that, you know? I mean, so you could sell it, they do all the work, you know, and all you do is make fun. You, send, you have something fun to send to your uh, customers or potential customers, yeah, get your favorite bread on a t-shirt. <laughs> I mean, a cute thing, it just can enhance your existing business. And who cares if you make money on it? Because this is something extra and use it as promotion for your own business. God, if you're an artist working for people too, and you're designing logos, man, you set up a shop here so that people, you know, that you're designing the logo for, they could buy t-shirts with your logo on it and you split the money with them. See, so, you know, here's a way to make up money without investing a penny, you know? I mean, that's phenomenal to me. I mean, could you imagine, uh, even if, if you wanna sell on Amazon now, you have to figure out how to get the t-shirts printed, how to get them made, how to ship them, how to collect the money, how to all that kind of stuff. You don't have to do any of that now. See, and that's why the internet is so powerful. Man, it's just creating so many new ways to make money, you know, that people haven't heard of before. And that's why when I see the data that more and more people are becoming independent workers, working for themselves, it's because of things like this. You're working on something else, you can't make it enough to eat. Well, you do something like this on the side. Now you're making enough to eat and still uh, following your passion and dream also. Also, you're doing it your way. What is better in life than <laughs> except doing it your way? Unless it's crazy and <laughs> you're hurting people, you know, and then that's different but you know what I mean. So watch this interview, start learning about this stuff. It's gonna change the whole way the jobs in our country, how we're working, how we're contributing, how we're doing anything. And it's there, touch of a fingertip. Hmm? Well, Jake Nickel of Threadless.com. Now, I've been studying, you know, crowdfunding and doing interviews. I've done like 700 interviews and I didn't, realize you guys are really the founder of crowdfunding. I've done 700 interviews on crowdfunding <laughs> before I talked to the founder of crowdfunding. God, you've been at this since 2000. I mean, Kickstarter didn't start until like 2008 or nine or something like that. And you guys have been doing this and your big company now, just you, you dropped out of art school to do this. Is it screw this? nonsense they're teaching me, I'll just do it. <laughs> and that's what art is all about. Just do it, man. Don't do it. Don't ask anybody what's good or not, you know. Do it for you and see if you're speaking to somebody else. But now you have two really projects here, right? 
and and one is your main business which has been at it for you know 15 years where I could put my design if I have a t-shirt idea I put it on your website no cost right Right. You don't charge me anything. I just send a, a what a PDF file or something like that of the design. Yeah, just a JPEG. J or anything. What it would look like. You put it on your site, and if people like it, you print the sucker and give me money, huh? Exactly. <laughs> so how? So you have nothing to lose by doing that, right? No. Yeah. I mean, what's nice is with the voting process, we know people will like it. So if we print it, we know that people are going to um. purchase it. Um, and yeah, we just share, we provide you with earnings on every time a unit wow. sells, we give you part of that. So, so they sell the t-shirt for maybe like $25 and then you send me $7 a shirt for the rest of my life, right? Yep. Every time one sells, you get $7. Wow. I mean, you know, when I heard that, I mean, God, God I mean, the, I would have got, you know, like I, I did wrote a bunch of books for people in New York, a couple, of, you know, sold real well and, and they had $25, man, I would get like a buck. <laughs> if you get hired by like Quicksilver to design a t-shirt that's going to go out in thousands of stores, going rates like 300 to $500. Four and on, th on Threadless, I mean, the $7, we've sold shirts where we've sold over 100,000 units wow. of one shirt, you know. Um, so people make almost a million dollars on this with a t-shirt. <laughs> and on these shirt manufacturers, you're getting a couple hundred dollars. Uh, where you, it's unlimited. Yeah. Yeah. And you know it's going to sell something because you already pre-sold it in a way because it's so popular on the website. Right, yeah, we already have an indication. Oh, people want this design. Yeah. Now, when you do that, I mean, so if I put it, so what comes to my mind, like the other Kickstarter sites, do I have to get my community to vote for me? Is that what people do? You know? um, on Kickstarter, that is kind of how it works. Although th there is the discovery on Kickstarter yes, where yes, somebody can go on and find yeah. stuff. But on Threadless, it's a little bit more, you know, we market you on Threadless.com. Yeah. So I don't have to worry about fitting out, figuring out how to use social media on you because we're, we're, you did all that, more or less. Well, I, I mean, you don't have to, but I think it will have a positive effect on your sales if you do that. Yeah. But it's not as indicative on these other crowdfunding sites. It seems like, you know, if you're getting 10, 20%, you know, just traffic falling in is a lot. Versus but actually that happens more on the front end of like when you post your design to be scored that's where it's almost more important for you to pass it around and tell people go vote uh, on this because I, I want to get printed that's, that's when it means something <laughs> but you know what's interesting it's not so much about social you know the most meaningful thing is still email I think like really? if people submit a design like just email all your friends and family right, tell them about it yeah. works much better than tweeting about it you're, you're showing your age or what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm constantly surprised at how effective email is. I know, likewise. I mean, I still work the same. I, I, social media, I mean, I, I just have to, I know I have to be there, but I'm not making money at it. But I, the only people making money at social media are the ones teaching you how to make money at social media. <laughs> <laughs> so that's one deal I could do. So if I'm an artist or have an idea, and I guess I don't even have to be a, uh, a perfect artist, I just have an idea for something, somebody else, get somebody else to sketch it send it to you and uh, uh, I'm there uh, now the other thing that you're about to say is it out there now the artist shop well what's out now we've launched like 40 of the shops so far but you can also reserve a shop right now uh -huh. but yeah it's this thing called artist shops where artists could set up their own e-commerce store for their mm -hmm. own brand like their own domain name mm -hmm. like they basically have their own shop so I could have Lesco t-shirts. Yeah, dot com. Ooh, I could have question mark t-shirts. <laughs> yeah, and then what? what's great is that you don't have to do any of the- I don't have to do anything. Wow, now you're, now that's America. That's America. <laughs> totally free, whenever- Free, that's America. <laughs> and whenever somebody buys one, we'll print it and we'll ship it to them and we'll deal with any customer service problems and- Wow, wow. <laughs> and now now I don't get seven bucks, I get what? Ten bucks. Ten bucks! <laughs> because it's my store, right? <laughs> wow, so I get 40, 50% of the stuff, and if it's a higher price, then I get more percentage. 
uh, and, and God, I know nothing, you know, and you're printing it, you're, you're figuring out all that stuff, shipping and everything, and I just have to have the brilliance of the idea. Right, right, exactly. <laughs> Upload your artwork, and then from there we'll do the rest. Yeah. Wow! Well, what is... So it's like instead of putting a shop on Amazon, if I did, oh, I'm going to sell t-shirts and get it on Amazon. Man, i got to figure out how to print these suckers, how to mail it, uh, customer service, all that kind of nonsense. And Which is such like, and not only that, but invest all the money in buying that inventory. Yeah, and get stuck with the garage full. You know, I have books like that. You want to wallpaper a basement, I'll send you a couple thousand books I never sold. <laughs> yeah. It's nice not having to worry about that stuff. So in other words, you don't have, I mean, I could just sell one t-shirt and I'm making money. <laughs> I mean, and this is the new technology, old technology. I, I, I'd have to sell 5,000 before I made a penny. Yeah, on-demand printing technology for t-shirts has just blown up. Really like the past two, three years, it's gotten to be on par with screen printing. Wow. Um, so we're all over it. Wow. <laughs> Well, you just blew the t-shirt business away. But now you put everybody in the t-shirt. Everybody loves t-shirts. You know, it's a great idea. And, and even to, you know, you're sitting there with any kind of ideas. I mean, you have a saying, you know, like Trump sucks or something. And you want a t-shirt made. <laughs> you can just have one made from you, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, you could use it to just buy yourself one or try to get other people to buy them. <laughs> well, so in other words, for the artist shop, I don't have to win any popularity contests. Right. right. I mean, where that will come in, we will be looking at all the shops that get started right. and we'll be curating them and promoting them through our channels too. So there will be, you know, if it's a really nice shop, we'll probably talk about it. Through. But you're just going to sit in the corner. <laughs> If nobody likes it, but at least I get I get my one shirt, <laughs> and, and, and I gave it a shot and, and try. I mean, I, I've written like a hundred books and only ten made any money, so I know I'm wrong ninety percent of the time. So, <laughs> so this is a great place to be wrong, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, because there's no risk. Yeah, it's just wonderful. And so Threadless, find you, is Threadless, T-H-R-E-A-D-L-E-S-S dot -E -S com. I went, I flunked English at Marquette, see? So I know if there's people like me out there who have trouble with spelling, which I still do. By the way, I took the SATs again recently. Oh, yeah, really? yeah, and I got the same shit I did like 50 years ago. What'd you get? Uh, I got like a 450 in math. And uh, and English was a little better. It was 600. The first time I got like 450 in English again. Uh, I never read a book. See, I got the opposite because I was terrible in English. But then I, I, I only missed one on the math side. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> but that was now. When I was going to college, I got 450 on both. You know, that's how bad I was. Yeah. So... Uh, <laughs> I didn't score. So threadless.com and artist shop. How do we find that? Threadless.com slash artist shops. Okay, threadless.com slash artist shop. Look at it. Look at this thing. This is the way the country's going. I mean, now 30% of us are freelancers and we have to learn how to make money, you know, uh, creating our own job, doing the stuff we want to do. I mean, to me, it's nuts. Why do we go into something we hate all fucking day long? <laughs> it's so true. Yeah, you can just sit in your apartment. Sickness and everything. Do something you love and here's a way to do it. And now they're saying this is going to grow. Things like this in our saying they, they estimate like 50% of us will be working like this. So that's why you're providing an opportunity for us to do that. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> that's wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Jake. Yeah, thanks for having me. You got good stuff here. Thanks for helping us. Appreciate it. Thank you. Bye.